Hey guys, Foxrop here with another live game commentary. A special game commentary today because I have some friends with me that want to say hi to you guys. My friends over on YouTube, I want you to meet some of my friends that I am currently sitting here chilling with. Say hello to my friends. Twitch chat. Thank you for joining us today for this video where we are playing as the Satan Teemo Jungle. Now, Teemo Jungle is someone who is, uh, you know, a little bit, you know, whatever, Teemo Jungle. It kind of speaks for itself, right? But he got his new Satan skin. So we're just playing some Teemo Jungle. We're going to have some fun. I'm on the PBE, so I've got, like, ridiculous ping. You can see I'm on 160. It's a bit difficult. I'm against a challenger PBE player. So, you know, that's a... That in itself is a bit daunting, is it not? But still, we'll be fine. We'll be able to do it. We're going to be playing like an attack speed Teemo this game. Because I think that attack speed Teemo is like, I don't know, probably the best jungle Teemo build you can go for. A bit of AP as well, but mostly attack speed. So we're going to go for attack speed reds, army yellows, AP blues, AP quints. And masteries, I'm I'm 18-12-0 with further for battle. Because I think further for battle is the best when you have lots of attack speed. So, before we enter the game, I just want to congratulate my friends in Twitch chat. Good job, Twitch chat. I told you don't muck it up. And you didn't actually muck it up. You did pretty well. So, good job, boys. I'm proud of you. And, uh, you know, but apart from that, keep being cancer and being awful. But thank you so much. <laughs> I'm the devil, not you, Jin. God damn it. Right, well, that's not the greatest start. Having your can be Sonic level 1, but at least now he's going to be my personal butt buddy helping me with their buff as well. So that's very nice of you. Thank you, my friend. I really appreciate that. Just don't take this one as well. <laughs> Please, don't take this one as well. So if you're going to be playing Teemo Jungle, there's a reason why he's not um, you know, like p particularly meta. And any time a jungler isn't meta, most of it comes down to like one big thing. And that big thing, no, it's not in my pants. It's the fact that they can't clear very efficiently. And that's pretty much Teemo in a nutshell. Uh, Timo's clears are not that good. Um, he's, he's, you know, I don't know, like he's got some on hit with his E, and once he gets the Blood Razor, he's not too bad. Please don't die here, please don't die here, fantastic. But outside of that, are the mini walls really going to kill me? Outside of that, he's really nothing special, like you'll see. I mean, look at this, I did two camps. I mean, to be fair, I also got my camps on at level one, but whatever. He's just not very good the fox at clearing. The fox Yo, Cac Wizard, there are no... Yo, thank you so much for the sub sub subscription, Cat Wizard. If you're hearing that and you're thinking, what the hell is going on? That is because that was someone subscribing to me on Twitch. Thank you very much, Cat Wizard. There are no there are no uh, alerts going on right now because I'm going to put this on YouTube. So if you want your thing on the screen, it's not going to happen. But thank you so much for the subscription, Cat Wizard. Give him some love in the, in the Twitch chat. But I'm going to be focusing mostly for YouTube this game, boys. All right, so I'm sorry if... if if it's a little bit, you know, the crossover is a little bit weird. But either way, I've recalled early here. Anytime you're struggling with your early clears, just recall early and get Hunter's Potion. Hunter's Potion for junglers is, you know, it's it's the thing that makes any jungler that really sucks at jungling be able to do it at least to a certain degree, which is what's happening here with Teemo. Um, you know, like, if you get Hunter's Potion, then you can at least, you can at least, you know, sustain a little bit in the jungle. And even if you're not, even if you're someone who can clear fairly well, you can at least sustain with like a decent amount of sustain. You know, like p even people like Gragas get Hunter's Potion and they sustain. It, it turns them from like okay sustain to really good sustain. And people like Timo, it turns them from shit sustain to actually this guy can sustain them. So now gank ganking with Timo is terrible, but when you've got red buff, it can work. Sadly, this guy has like he's got no mana and he's. I'm just gonna flash in this d dickhead's face. I don't think I've got anything else though. And like chasing like this into the into the enemy jungle is not smart because we don't know where Kennen is. But still, whatever we get is flash. That's cool. I wonder if I can do something to this top lane here. It's unlikely, uh, and I have just run out of my red buff. That guy's probably gonna die though. Oh, he's alive. I wonder if I can do something here. Here we go. Let's try it. Come on, bro. Okay. Well, I feel like we probably could have... Oh, my God. It's happening. No, don't cue me. I know you want to cue me. I know you want to cue me. Please don't cue me. Oh, God. Just hit him. Just hit him. Just hit him, Riven. Okay. Okay. I, can't... I feel like that was not an optimally played gank right there. But it's 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 whatever. You know, I think there was a lot of 
a lot of uh, you know dominance was established through that play. The Lee Sin's now gonna be like, holy shit, that guy's bonkers, which he is bonkers, mind you. Am I gonna get? Am I getting done from behind here? Is that what's happening? I'm not getting any of this. Yes, at least there's that. So if Kennen is top lane, then I need to just like stealth. Do you stealth when you recall, Timo? Is it is, is my game really quiet or is that just me? Can you guys on Twitch out tell me if my game is really really quiet? Or is that just me? Like legit legit question right here, boys. All right, so we're gonna go for the we're gonna go for the uh, red smite here. I think red smite kind of suits what Timo wants to do, like the one v one size of on hit kind of on hit damage, like dot damage and whatever. It is quiet. Okay, let me turn it up a tad here. No sound at all. Okay, that's what I was thinking. It was really quiet. I don't know why it's this quiet. I haven't I haven't changed anything, but it is really quiet, isn't it? But yeah, that's all good. I'll turn it up a little bit here. So let's get a bit more. Get these Krogs here. Maybe we'll go down bot afterwards. The skin does look pretty cool. He's, yeah. You know, when I first saw this reveal, I was thinking, hmm. Obviously, it's a demon skin. That's probably Teemo, but it's, he's, got, he's, he's using a trident, which make, made me think either he's chewing gum or he's... You know, it's like a fizz skin or something. Oh, look at this! Oh my god. Oh, this Morgana's a beast. Okay, never mind. Okay, change my mind. Morgana is a beast. Okay, we got we got a summoner out of it. Not, not, you know, whatever. It's okay. Okay. I kind of want to just, like, tax a little bit, because wh whenever you're playing a really shit jungle that, that's shit at clearing the jungle, you kind of have to lane tax to, you know, like, actually keep competitive clears. But I guess there's not really too much. I did tax quite a lot of top lane, didn't I? So there's something. Yeah, any any excuse you have to not be in the jungle when you're a jungler who has really crap clears, just take those excuses. So, you know, holding lanes is really, really important to do. And, you know, just even if you go to gank, just like nicking something here and there is pretty good too. Of course, this is a little side note for your when you're clearing on Teemo. You want to be kiting because you're ranged. So you want to use your range advantage, but also use your Q you're blind when people are in like come into melee range with you don't use your Q to initiate the camp use it when they get close to you because you want to get used out of that blind you want to be able to have the blind and get something out of it and you're obviously not going to get anything out of it if you use it as they're running towards you as opposed to getting something out of it if you use it when they're um, like actually in your face when they're actually hitting you so I'm going to try and uh, do a V2 gank in the spot lane here I think this is warded here though Mm, no, it's not. But they both just hit level 6, which is really bad for me. Like, really bad. Can I blind her, though? Nice. Teemo jungle, boys. There it is. I hit a minion, but no one saw that. Although I just said it out loud, so, you know, now you know. Taxing, taxing, taxing. <laughs> there it is. No, I'm going to recall now. Actually, I should help these guys push this out. Let's push this out. I'm going to help them push because... Uh, Vayne is dead, and these guys are pretty low. Like these guys don't really want to stay in this lane because you know if they stay and like Kennen comes, they're gonna die. So I'll help them push. But I'm gonna recall now. Yo, he turns proper evil when he's recalling. What the hell? God damn, that's crazy. I want to do a quick, a quick uh, poll. All right, from the Twitch chat here. Do you guys think that we're gonna turn this game around and pull out a victory on our team, my jungle? What do you think, Twitch chat? Yes or no? Win or loss? What are you thinking? So Kennen's actually really high level. <clears throat> level 7 is... Well, honestly, it's not that high. It's not really a high level <laughs> for the stage of the game. It's just higher for me. I really shouldn't fight this guy, though. Get him, Riven. Avenge me. What? So we get the, uh, we get the assist guard on that as well, so that's okay. We'll take it. <clears throat> Alright, uh, I also, it's like, well, I was going to say it's lucky I, I, I like, stole the, the walls away, but it didn't really change anything, did it? Um, how much does this cost nowadays? It's quite expensive, actually. Oof, oof. Alright, let's go back to my blue. Alright, so my Twitch chat thinks that I am going to kind of win. There are a few people saying yes, there are a few people saying loss. Alright. It's a bit 50-50 in Twitch chat. I don't know what you guys think on YouTube, but Twitch chat doesn't have that much faith. Now, that's a really, really cool animation for Team Mushrooms, actually. A lot of these, like, floating souls. That's really cool. I like that. Here comes the eye roam. Is it going to happen? Oh, look at it. There it is. Nice. Good job, Ari. 
Good roam. Proud of you, bro. Alright, let's keep clearing here a little bit. I think, you know, Timo isn't someone who needs to, to do too much in the early game, so if all I want to do is clear, I think I've got a good excuse. You know, I can do that and it's not a problem. Obviously, maxing E for more on hit damage. You really need to do that as Timo jungle. Like, if you're playing Timo mid lane, maybe you could, you know, max your Q or something, but not Timo jungle. Timo jungle, you need, you need the on hit damage, you need the sustained damage, so. Max your E second. Nice. I'm running down bot. Just to see if I can do something. I don't think they need me though. Look at this. My team's got this. Yo, is this going to be the young Teemo jungle dive? Is that what's going to happen here? No. You piece of sh You stole my Krug at level 1 and now you just stole my kill. How dare you. Alright, let's see if we can get the dragon here. Bot lane, both people in bot lane died. So now would be a good time to do this dragon here. The only downside here is that... If Kennen comes in, we're pretty fucked. So I'm going to throw out some shrooms here. Just so that if Kennen comes in, he'll be a bit slowed and we can fight around them. But I did see Kennen topside, so I'm not really anticipating him to be here. Okay, Kennen's here. He's doing it. I'm dead. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> the Teemo shroom did nothing. <laughs> it did absolutely nothing. <laughs> we got dragons, so it's fine. Go on, Shaddy. Go on, Shaddy. Okay. I actually thought we might have a better shot at doing that, but that's okay. We got the dragon, so it's fine. I'm going to go for Berserker Greaves here, and then go for another dagger. I actually think Berserker Greaves are a really underrated item to rush on jungle. Um, I've seen someone do it on... Uh, I, see, I saw someone... I think it was Trick, actually. I'm not sure who it was. Someone did it on, on Graves in the LCS. And at the time, obviously, it looks, like, really bad. Like, when you when you see a Graves, especially with Berserker Greaves in their entry, it looks awful. And when you see a jungler with, you know, with bloody, um, like, like just Hunter's Machete, and then he goes for the Berserker Greaves, it looks really bad. But it's actually pretty good. Like, the attack speed you get from Berserker Greaves nowadays is actually a lot compared to what you used to get. Like, it used to not be a lot at all, but now it's pretty much the same as any large attack speed item, so... It's fairly good, honestly, to, to get Berserker Greaves early. And as a jungler as well, having your tier 2 boots, get like having those done early is also really good just by itself. Because then you can move around the map more. And Teemo can kite camps like this as well. And when he gets his tier 2 boots, he can do them a lot easier. So there we go. <clears throat> but I really do want to go for Blood Razor. Like, this is the thing. If I get tier 2 boots first, it delays my, my jungle item. And I think that is quite an important jungle item because the on hit is pretty good. Like the on hit of Blood Razor doing the percentage health damage is really strong, so you could argue that this isn't a good build path just because you're delaying your Blood Razor. I'm not sure whether I would necessarily agree, but you certainly could say that. Meteos did it as well, apparently. Someone in Twitch chat says Meteos did it as well. Alright, so if I want to go for a play somewhere, I'm just going to try and do top here. There's not really anything for me to do, honestly, so what's this guy building? A lot of health. I'm going to go in on him here now. Really? He had his escape planned already. Is he gonna kick me? He's kicked me. Drop. Drop. Oh shit. Not like this. Not like this. I'm so squishy. No luck. Well, the fox did drop indeed. Unlucky. Yo, Transparent Fox, thank you for the four months in a row. Appreciate that, man. Give him some of the chat. That was a bit unlucky, that timing there. Good counter gank by Kennen, but also the Lux Roam as well. That was pretty unfortunate, wasn't it? That was pretty, pretty unfortunate. Alright, let's see if we can get something done on the bot side, though. Like, if, if we had all that shit happening top side, maybe we can do something bot side? Yo, is the death screen, does it look different? Did that look different, like the colours? That looked less grey that time around. Anyway, I'm bloody squishy, which is uh, one of the one of the things about Teemo Jungle that makes him kind of weak, is that he is, you know, I mean, in these early fights, he's really weak. I don't know what this guy's building. Is he gone Rurik Echoes into the Triforce? It's Pretty ballsy build. That's nice. Two kills bot. That's good. Pretty much evens out which happened to what happened top side. So that's cool. Uh, I think that Kennen either warded in my jungle or he just went to see whether my jungle was up to try and steal it away. Saw it wasn't and walked out. So I might need to be careful of this guy. I might not. And I don't know if this guy can die with me either. Because I don't really know how strong he is. He's pretty strong. I'll give him that. But I don't know if he's really strong. <laughs> So I'm actually going to smite my, my wolves here, because if this cannon comes into them, I'm pretty screwed. 
like comes into my jungle, so at least I want to see him come in. I'm going to press tab and take a look at my lanes and see what's going down. Yeah, so he did. I, th I think he did ward that there. Alright, so I just want to press tab C. So Riven's not doing too well. Oh, there's Kennen. I don't actually have smite, so I don't know what I'm doing here. The walls, the walls did not do a lot, did they, to save me there? I guess if I wanted to take that blue, I should have had the uh, the smite up. Actually, I guess in hindsight that would have been a smarter play. No, it's going to reset. Fuck. But let's see. So Cannon is really strong right now. Lux is five and zero. Oh, that's not great. Uh, but our bot lane, our bot lane is the only one, only one doing fairly well. But having said that, they are against a Vayne, which is a good late game champion. So they're not really. Ex like that is honestly only being 10 CS down is not yeah I don't know I'm not really in a good spot and I'm Teemo jungle so I guess I can farm it out and then I can like, against this Vayne I'll be really strong because Vayne will Vayne will be like you know I can just blind her and I can 1v1 her but I won't be able to do much else honestly so basically I'm only really afraid of the Kennen though Kennen's the one who seems to be making the good plays Everyone else is more like just running around and getting stuff. Just just random, really. But Kenan, like looking at Kenan, he seems to be actually doing smart plays, if that makes sense. So he's the one I'm worried about, really. Let's see if keep my eyes peeled in my. Yo, JW Bones, thank you for the Twitch Prime subscriptions. Appreciate it, mate. Oh, it's a fight. Okay. Up, two, three, four. I should not be here, though. I should not be here. Nice. Get the vein. Nice. Alright. That works out in the end. That works out. So the plus side about this cannon's build is that it makes him quite squishy. So we can kill him. He has no zombies either. But the downside is that he kills us all in, like, two shots. So <laughs> whether we can kill him first is a different question. But, yeah. Okay, so in the end that was a 2 for 2, which isn't that bad. I, considering considering I consider us to be losing this game, going 2 for 2 is a decent trade. That is interesting though, he's still on full health. I'm not quite sure what happened there, but... Maybe I should have focused on to like a dragon play. Oh my god, look at this skin, man. Holy moly. Alright, so we're going to get second. I'm going to go for a Nashor's Tooth here. Gonna go for Sting Stinger first? Yeah, we'll go Stinger first. Stinger into Nash's Tooth here. And can I get that? Thank you. Right, I think Nash's Tooth is a pretty good item on Teemo because like, the attack speed helps with your E for your on-hit stuff. And the AP is really solid as far as, like, well, everything. Teemo has loads of AP scaling, so... Teemo's good with AP, basically. And, yeah, if I, if I have this... Nash's Tooth, it sorts me out really, really well. So that's what we're going to get second. Now I've got my Blood Razor as well though, so I should do a little bit more damage, but Blood Razor, you know, having on hit damage when it's percentage health damage is really good against tanks, and I don't... I guess I guess actually that Lee Sin's going quite tanky, but I might go Frozen Mallet as well. Maybe I should... Hmm, I don't think I should have got that second though, necessarily. Should I have got that second? I could have done. It doesn't give me any on hit, but it allows you to kite really, really well. Maybe that would have been a good idea. Hmm. Not sure. Not too sure. What I should have. Hmm. I don't know. I I might get it next. I could go for Wits End as well. Now, this is the argument, right? I could just like skip the Nash's Tooth and go Wits End because the MR is useful against Kennen. But I don't honestly. I don't really think Wits End is great against AP burst damage because I f I feel like Wits End is. Which end is good because it, like, it ramps up MR for you, but it doesn't give you like a load of MR just right off the bat. You know, like It's not going to stop you from getting one shot by someone. Now, this is also another benefit of having the Blood Razor, is that you can take objectives really fast because you have the percentage health damage. And you take it really, really quickly. So Teemo is very good at doing this. You have to make sure the enemy team doesn't know where you are, though, because like, if the enemy team comes to contest that, we're screwed. <laughs> like, legit screwed. So you got to be careful, but... They, they're all too busy doing stuff mid, so that's all good. I'm hoping my team can just defend that, though. I don't think my team... They, my team doesn't really need me there. Like, we've, got, we've got Ari, we've got Morgana. We've got, yeah, we, sh we should be able to hold that. 
Of course, I'm a little bit afraid of the, the enemy team rushing a Baron, but again, I really don't think they'll do that. So I can just hold down, hold this bot lane here, get this free CS, push this out. All that lovely business. Rageblade, someone, someone's suggesting Rageblade in the chat. Yeah, Rageblade I guess could work as well. Do I want to try and stay here and get this guy? I don't know. I actually don't think this would work. I think these guys are listening into the stream, so I think that gives me a bit of a disadvantage trying to make really sneaky plays. Alright, if you want to look at this cannon, by the way, like this is this is a really strong cannon jungle. This is, this is a, I don't know if the, I mean it's kind of hard to say whether it's a really good build, or whether we're just you know playing PVE quality games, which are really low quality games, obviously. But um, I mean the, the important thing to really look at with this cannon is his farm. I know he's really fed up, like just in general. But and I mean the fact that I'm playing Teemo. If you if you're trying to counter a non-meta jungler, you probably shouldn't do it at Teemo. But um, you know the fact that his farm is really high is really I think that's like the biggest the biggest thing to take away from what he's doing here. Having high farm allows you to to do a lot of shit really. Cuz you have the you have the items to to fulfill I got that kill. Okay. You have the items to fulfill a really really like interesting Oh shit, that's fame. Oh, I don't have the Oh god. If that caster shot kills me, I swear down. <laughs> I'm alive. I'm alive. I'm alive. Yes, team! That's how it's done, boys! Good shit! Alright, excellent. Excellent. We aced them? Fantastic. Do we want to do a cheeky YOLO Baron? Let's YOLO it. YOLO Nash, boys! <laughs> Alright, so these guys are 100% going to know we're doing this, and uh, Lux with her with her ult is going to make this really ugly, but I've got Blood Razor and a lot of attack speed, so I should I should melt this quite fast myself. Okay, here comes the Lux ult. It's coming through. We did it! There it is! We did it! Nice! Yola Nash. Never fails. It went in doubt. Yola Nash. Uh, I don't think I should take this, should I? I just feel like I'm going to be in a really bad spot if I take this and get caught. Okay, I got it anyway. Easy peasy. So I'll go for the Nash's Tooth and I'll probably get Frozen Mallet. I don't think I'll go Rage Blade though. I might do Rage Blade. I could do, but I'm not sure. We might do it. We might not. See, at this point in the game, Teemo Jungle is actually fine. Like when you've got some attack uh, attack speed and you know a bit of AP as well, I guess Teemo Jungle is fine. Which is why, if you're playing a lane Teemo, you can take jungle camps really, really easily. So that's one thing to to like bear in mind if you're playing like top lane Teemo or something. You can just take jungle camps ridiculously easy, and you don't really have to worry about taking loads of damage in return either, because. Taking loads of damage in return isn't really an issue when you can blind them and then usually kill it before the blind expires. Alright, so there's Anash's Tooth, and now I'm going to go for the Frozen Mallet here. I actually played versus a Teemo top lane when I was on my main account. Like This is a little while back now. Uh, I think I was playing Nautilus, and he genuinely rushed... I think it was genuinely... He went like the... Soul Stealer item, like the Magi's item, and then when uh, random ins, he genuinely did that. I was playing Nautilus as well. I wasn't playing an AD top or anything like that, but he genuinely just like genuine first item random ins. It was ridiculous. He was terrible. I mean, I don't know if he's a terrible player, but the build was awful. He did nothing. He, he had no damage to do anything. But but yeah, it was it was interesting. It was interesting at least, so, you know, the fox whatever. Drop. The fox drop. Yo, Galaxy Crows, welcome, thank you for the sub, mate. Again, apologies to to YouTube if you're uh, hearing this and confused what's going on. That is, again, someone subscribing to me on, on Twitch, so thank you for the sub, Galaxy Crows, man, I appreciate that. Alright, so I'm actually fairly strong now. I was 1 and 3, and now I'm 4 and 3. Fox Yo, the Epic Gods, welcome back. Thank you for the 18 months. Appreciate it, man. Do, 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 do. So, what I'm going to do here is I'm going to put a. Bro, 18 and counting less than 3. There it is. Thank you, donation lady. 18 and counting. Welcome back, my man. So, what I'm doing here is I'm just like. When we're pushing down mid. Is I'm putting a shroom down like on us so that if Kennen decides to do some really ballsy engage, we get the um, 
Like we we have to shroom down so that it like maybe hits him or something and stops the engage. Honestly, this position here is really risky. If we don't have vision on the side late, side bushes and cannons sitting in one of these bushes, he can just come out and destroy us. So we don't really want that. In fact, we really don't want that. So we don't really want it. Is that we really don't want it? <laughs> Woo -hoo, ha -ha. But having said that, Timo isn't really someone you want to group up on too much either. So I'm tempted to just split push with this Baron. But I'm honestly not 100% sold on my 1v1 potential, and I'm a bit afraid my team will get just destroyed by this cannon. So I'm a little bit nervous, but I'm going to go top anyway. I could go Hurricane as well. Hurricane's a pretty good item on, on Teemo. Especially if you're split pushing a lot, you kill Minimaze really fast. Like, this build that I've got right now is a pretty good combat build, so it allows me to actually fight people. But... The split push nature of it is okay just from the sense of it's a lot of attack speed, but apart from that, nothing special. I'm hoping these guys go for the dragon here so I can just like keep pushing down. I don't know how I'm going to do in a 1v1 against Lee Sin. He's pretty tanky. But I might be able... To, you know, I've got a lot of damage and I've got red smite. I should be able to do stuff, especially with Baron buff. I should be able to get a good push going here. Hmm. We'll see. I'm hoping these guys have tunneled really hard on to the dragon here so that I have a good push here. Oh shit. Is that oh that's vain. Okay. I can't click her. Okay. I still got her. <laughs> I had to preemptively flash because I knew that Lux was gonna fire skill shots skill shots at me there. And with my PPE ping, I knew I wouldn't like be able to reactionary flash. <laughs> I was actually really afraid that Vayne would tunnel behind the um, what's it called? Tunnel behind the uh, the tower, and then it, I would be I wouldn't be able to click her anymore. But I got her anyway, so that's cool. I had to use my flash, but I think she healed, so it's okay. Also, drawing two people to your lane is like that's worth it. Like two people to your lane is always worth it because then it kind of enables your team to do stuff. Especially if you get a kill as well, then that's obviously fine. I mean, it's, it kind of actually works in their favor a little bit because of the assist gold, but it's not, like, terrible. But you have, like, there's a bit of a misconception. Like, if you draw a lot of people to your lane, yes, that then helps your team out because it gives your team, like, a numbers advantage. But you have to be, you have to be like, aware of, okay, is my team actually even in position to do something if I get attacked and I get caught? Like, in that, in that situation... If I died there, it wouldn't have been worth it because my team didn't get anything out of it. But I'm, that's not really my team's fault because they were just like they were just they just they were too far pushed in. You know, I think the enemy team was pushing down a lot, and you know, then they went to dragons. So, it wasn't my team's fault on that. Like, so if they weren't, so they weren't able to do anything, and so if I didn't get anything out of it myself, then that would just been like a really bad trade. But I got a kill, so it's okay. So I want to kind of sit in this top lane a bit more as well, just because you know that is the. Like, I think that's the, that's the tower I've done some damage to, so I kind of want to put some pressure on that. I can probably get that if I want to. Um, not having any vision is a bit risky, though, when you're going for split pushing. Like, you need to have vision so you know you know when to back off. A Teemo does have the fortunate a passive where he can just go stealth and like in the middle of a lane or something. If he runs far enough away out of vision, he'll just go stealth and then be fine. I really want to get level 16 here. But it doesn't really help that much. If they know where you are, you know, like stealth doesn't do anything, especially against the Sin. Oh shit, this could be bad. Why doesn't Lux ult that? Okay, it's fine. So I either want to leave this red buff to Jin or take it myself. Both is fine. Rest in pepperonis, mate. I'm not gonna smite this because there's a blue ward there. I'm just gonna put loads of shrooms down everywhere. Mm, I could give this red over to Jin. I don't really know. I'm just going to take it though. Fuck it. I'm... Whatever. If Jin wanted this, he could have taken this ages ago. I don't think he really wants this. I kind of think he wants to give this to me. <laughs> and hey, it wor red buff works really well with this Teemo build. It gives you that crazy on hit damage. So, like, because I've got a lot of CDR, these shrooms, they, like, restack quite fast. Like, they refresh quite fast. Which is good, it means that I can just chuck loads out, and especially since it's rank 3. A rank 3 ult means I can just chuck out loads of shrooms all the time. Yes, 
So like having these shrooms down is quite... If I'm going to be grouping up, my shroom position is important. Just to try and cock block this cannon. I think he's going... He's going for a Riley's next. I would I would like... I don't know. Zonius is a really important item on cannon. But I guess with that build, it's like an auto attack build. So maybe... Maybe he's not really going for like the big ballsy engage build. That's the build you need on his own if he's going to be going in. What I should be doing actually is I should be going bot lane here. Oh shit, Jin just uses ult. That means they're fighting. Fuck. God damn it. Alright, well these Kinnon's dead. Look at these mechanics, man. Look at me. Yes, Morg, we did it. Alright, is that a tech... Is that an ace? Who's the only one? Le yeah, where's Lee Sin? Oh, did he DC? Is this a 4v5 the whole time? God damn it. <laughs> it was me thinking we were putting, a good, putting in a good comeback. And Lee, Lee Sin did say he was lagging, didn't he? See, this is what happens. When, when I start losing a game when I'm recording, I get really self-conscious about it. So what I do is I DDoS the people that are beating me. I don't know why I decided to DDoS the one and four person, you know. By the way, if anyone, any of you guys think I'm serious with that, I'm not. I'm not being serious. I'm. I'm not actually DDoSing people. It's okay. Please don't hate me. I mean, you guys are watching me. Okay, <laughs> you're watching me. I think you know I'm not DDoSing people. I think we should be able to get this tower here. Like what this guy should have done is he should have walked over my shroom here. Ah, fuck. That was a pretty cheeky flash, but that, that Riley's is... Oh god. No, the Riley's so from there. No, this is my fault. I'm so sorry, bro. That was entirely my fault. I stayed way too long. I tried to get the tower, but Baron's up, so it's risky. I just need to recall here, though. If I want to contest this Baron, I need some health, so I just need to recall. I put down some wards, uh, sorry, some shrooms, but... I don't think they'll be able to take it for free, though. Alright. Shit. Are they taking it? Fuck, they're taking it. Okay, I don't know what I want to buy next, and I know I'm sitting on a lot of gold, so I'm just going to run out of spawn. I might actually go for... I could go for Blather and King. Maybe Wits End would be good. Hmm. Maybe some, like, some thank you items. Don't... Don't CC me. Okay. I'm lucky as fuck that I'm not dead right now. Holy moly. Yo, Shad! What's up, man? Welcome. You finally made your way into the room. I've been hearing Shad, like, trying to claw his way into the room for so long. He's come in and he's immediately leaving. Wow. Alright, that's that's dedication to being annoying, Shad. I might go for a, for a Runins. I think that's what I'm going to go for. I could go for Banshees. I actually should go for some MR, shouldn't I? Do you go for some disgusting tank team I build? Hmm. Like, Wit Send is, is the obvious, like, attack speed, uh, the attack speed MR choice is Wit Send, but I think, like, you know, like I was saying earlier, Wit Send is more of, like, a sustained damage thing. Ah, oh, shit, not like this. <gasps> not like this. Okay, I'm alive. Poor Morgana, she keeps dying for my sins. But that was actually worth it, I think, because we've got, we got the dragon, but, yeah. You can do it, Shad. I believe in you, bro. Alright, I should probably recall again so I get some health. Get a Phantom Dancer to round it out. Alright, we'll go for... You know, I'll go for Wits End. Or Wits End or Runins. I don't know which one I want to go for. I'll go for Wits End, fuck it. I'm just going to go for attack speed builds because it's more fun to watch, right? An on-hit attack speed build. Oh, that was close. That was a bit of a questionable flank. We were not really in position to help with that one, but fairs. I fat fingered my R. <laughs> Unlucky. But now, you know, what's my MR like here? It's not even that high. 95? How much MR do I get from that? 25 extra from the wits end, 40 from base. Yeah, that's not that much, is it? I mean, this is a thing as well. Like, look, at the, look at the farm of, of Kennen and me. Kennen's farm is really high. 210 farm, that's really good. But my farm is pretty high as well, especially compared to my team. So, 
No, it's all about it's it's all about how much farm you have. If you're playing an off meta jungler and you want, or like any damage jungle really, and you want to have success, you need to have a lot of gold. All right, that's half her health gone. See you, and her heal. That is something. If I see, if I had Banshee's veil, I actually could one v one Vayne as well, because she wouldn't be able to get away from me, because I could just like the Banshees would stop her condemn. So I should probably go for Banshees. Like, the universe is telling me to get Banshees. I actually think I might be attack speed capped anyway right now, so it doesn't really help me that much. Look how fast I go! Holy moly, that is disgusting. There's Kennen. I see you, bruh. Oh, okay. So me being Teemo at this stage of the game is actually fairly good against that Kennen because Kennen has, uh, like, I think he's built a lot towards his auto attack power. Uh, like you know, with the, with the uh, what's the that called? Drop. The fox drop. Next sec. Yo, Overshot Flores, welcome back, man. Thank you for the 15 months. Appreciate it, mate. Thank you, my man. Welcome back, bro. Welcome back. I could just go invisible somewhere, but it'd be quite risky. I really want to go invisible in like, the middle of mid lane. Like I say, that's risky shit. I'm not really a flanking champion either, so... It's not really something I want to do. Run behind them and all that lovely business. Oh shit. I'm completely done so here, but this should still be a good fight for us. Alright. Alright, that works out pretty well. 3 for 2 is still okay for us. We also got pretty favourable side lane position here, so we don't really have to do too much. Like, look, that tower just died by itself. This this lane's pushing up really far as well. Oh, Riven wants it, but Riven might be in trouble. In fact, we all might be in trouble here. I am going to go for the Banshee's Veil, though. Block some of that damage coming in. So if these guys can't go t mid, they should probably go top. They should do something with the numbers advantage they've got here. <laughs> there we go. Top lane's done so. Alright. I wonder, we could probably do another Baron play actually. I've got really a lot of damage on this shit as well, so we'll go for a Baron play. I'm really sorry about this DC, by the way, this AFK. This is why, you know, playing on PB is never too much fun, because the, the quality of games is just really weird. It's like. I mean, the players themselves, no offense to them, but, you know, it's, it's not like the games are never evenly matched, we'll put it that way. The games are never really evenly matched as far as who's playing and the skill of players involved. I wonder if I can, I can probably, I don't know if I can solo this. Okay, I've been seen on a ward, never mind. So skill of players are never evenly matched and stuff. People are always lagging, like someone, people are always seeing from the PBE. Uh, I don't know whether that's because, you know, people go on the PBE when, you know, their main account's been lever busted or something, but the PBE is also just wank by itself as far as the connection quality, so it's really not, the games are really awful, honestly, a lot of the times. So yeah, I can only apologise for this game, but hopefully it's still, like, entertaining. I still feel like, honestly, we suck so bad, this is actually an even game, even though there's a DC here. You know, so that... <laughs> As much as it pains me to admit it, that's kind of... No, she has Bork. Her team's going to be flanking in here as well. Alright, well that's her heal down at least. I did use my flash, but we still got a heal. Alright, so just harassing the morgue there. She's down to half health. Kind of... Okay. Oh god, there it is. There's a Smeb! Smeb, please! Nice. He wrecked us there. Well, not... well, not really. It wasn't really a Smeb, was it? But it was alright. 
It was alright. I'll give it to him. I'll give it to him. He flanked us, basically. Uh, I don't know. I kind of want to go for like an objective play. Because I think that I take it really, really quickly. Because I'm Teemo. Mm, maybe maybe if we swip, like swapped the AD carries around. Like if we were the ones with the vein. Veins. Oh shit. I walked over a ward. I wasn't paying attention. Where is that ward? There it is. If we had the Vayne on our team, like, Vayne is very good at taking away objectives because she has a lot of consistent damage, like, with her pass- uh, her W passive. Oh my god, that's bad. So, you know, Vayne- Vayne and me could, like, totally destroy a Baron just by herself, so... Hmm. If Kennen's dead, I don't think they'll go for it, so... I don't have to stay topside here. I can probably just go bot and take these minions here anyway. Oh wow, they're doing they're doing dragon. Okay. They do this very fast, but they don't have a smite. No. The fox. Damn it. Drop. The fox drop. Drop it. At least we got the bot lane farm, I guess. One more hit, no! <laughs> Is it enough? Will she burn? Hey, why, why, she finally burned. five months. Yo, welcome back, Ores. Thank you for the five months, man. I appreciate it. Shit, I should have pinged Ores to come with me there. I thought we were gonna make the sick plays together, but oh, she has a blue, blue. I hope that was down. Was that down? I, I can't ping out. I can't ping out wards to see whether they're up or not. Uh, I could have got that. I had smite. I just couldn't get in. I couldn't see anything. Didn't have the vision. Right, let's go for the banshee's ear. Could I have bought that before, actually, when I was in spawn? Shit, I didn't realise that. I wasn't paying attention. Alright, we'll go for the... Uh, we'll go for the Elixir of Ruff. S uh, stick to get... I kind of want to end this game now. I'm getting a little bit... I am aware that watching a 4v5 is only entertaining to a point. So stick together, boys. Avoid the snares. And we win. If we just get caught by Lux Q or Morgana Q, we're screwed. But if we stick together, we should be fine. Like, they're honestly not that, that... This cannon build, I thought this cannon would be a lot like more of an issue than he is. He's really not that problematic for us. Um, he's good in 1v1s, but he's really nothing special outside of that. Damn. Alright, if we can, we can try and get this mid or something. Oh, everyone's really low. Okay. Damn. They're playing us in the objective game, aren't they? We need some better vision down. Wait, was my stream up the whole time there? I just didn't get popped. Damn. That's something. Alright. I don't even know if I can make like a sneaky stealth play. I think these guys may be watching it on the stream. We'll see. If I sit here and these guys come, I know I'm in trouble, but... At least I can destroy Vayne. Like, this Vayne's a bit of a non-factor against me because of my, my blind, so... I know I can deal with her. Even Kenan with this build, he's gone a lot into the auto attacks, so. This guy doesn't have a Zonius either, so. Pretty screwed there, too. Fuck, I got hit by the bind. What did I say, team? Don't get hit by the bind! Come on, team, what are you doing? Duh. Nice. Vein spotting, boys. Unlucky. Be careful, okay. Alright, that was pretty bad, honestly, considering we also lost our inhib tower there. I just need to split push. I'm going to split push, I think. Trying to, like, honestly, grouping will be fine, but... You know, even before we could group properly there, Kennen's already caught our AD carry and he's on, like, 20%. So grouping isn't really working either, is it? I'll just split push the lane down, and I can probably do some stuff. Like, the enemy team, at least, I really don't think they can push if I'm split pushing. And I actually think I can 1v1 anyone. So if, if, if they want to stop my split push, they'll have to send at least more than one person to me. That should be pretty good for us as well. But, we'll see. We'll see what's happening. We're getting wrecked a bit too hard right now, though. We should be fine, honestly. I'm surprised these fights are really going poorly for us, but... I think it is, we just get caught. We get caught really, really hard. We have two scimitars, though. Should be kind of hard for us. Two scimitars and Morgana Black Shield. We have the tools to to avoid being caught here. It's whether or not we can use them. 
Oftentimes that's a big difference between high reload and low reload. Well, not even high and low, but just like good players and not so good players is is how they use the tools that they're given. Like this inhib is pretty free for the enemy team. I don't even want to try and contest that. So I'm just going to go top instead. Try and push this down. Don't fight. Don't fight. Like, I don't want to team fight these guys anymore because I don't trust that we are not going to get caught and Dunzoed. Like, if I thought, like, the the theory behind this play is very much just kill the minions, just kill the minions. See, look, look how is this happening? Oh. Do I need to really recall here? No, I don't. Thank God for that. Like, they're really low. Like, if we can stop these guys from recalling, I can get a lot of shit here. I mean, I'm getting an in here. Wait, are they actually trying to end? Get him. Wait, I can try and end here as well, actually. I'm going to do it. I'm YOLOing it. I'm YOLOing the play. I'm going to blind the... St I'm blinding the super minion. Yeah, I actually think Kenan will come back, so I don't think I can do this. Hmm. I think I think Kennen's actually here now, isn't he? Yeah, there he is. Alright, that's not bad. We pretty much just traded the same stuff. And honestly, considering we're behind this game, that's not too bad. I'm Honestly, I'm very surprised that the enemy team even managed to fight us there. I really, really wasn't expecting them to be able to do anything. We have... Predict I, I honestly... I don't know. I mean, we have we have Sashes, we have Morgana Black Shield. To be caught like that, something's going wrong there. But it's alright, whatever. We got the uh, we got like the the exchange there. We got the uh, the cheeky the cheeky um, inhibited exchange. Right, let's see. Uh, I can't afford to buy anything else. So I don't even know why I'm perusing the shop. But we'll go for the elixir of wrath again. I'm kind of just like stacking up on on that. Really, nothing special. Okay, I wonder if we want to group top maybe here. Let's just do it. Let's just YOLO up top here. We've got a huge minion wave. Sadly, I think Vayne's going to clear most of it, but I think we can do this. As long as we're together. I've walked over a ward here, but I've stomped the ward, so... Yeah, she's going to be away, and she, she's she's gone. She's... Why, why, how are we still mid? Yeah, fuck that mid, man. Fuck that mid. Like, considering we have a bot in hip down as well, I know we have a mid in hip down too, but... Like, we are so further pushed up that I think we have a lot more time here. Like, these, the enemy team has to react really fast if they want to defend their bot in here. Or, like, you know, the bot wave is going to be pushing a lot. So, like, if, if we keep them here, this bot in, in here pushes really hard and really fast. Yes, Fuck. I'm just, wa I'm just waiting for someone to get caught by binding, really. That's what I'm waiting for right now. The fox dropped. The You're fox new dropped. and welcome back. Thank you for the eight months, mate. Appreciate it. See, like, Kenan's gone bot again. So now this is our opportunity where we have the minion wave pushing in. Do shit. Boom, baby. Alright. Nice. Good gin ult. There we go. We push him off the tower. Get the tower. Now we'll be careful of the Kenan flank here. Oh my god. Not what I had in mind here. I really don't think that Kenan meant to is there. I think Kenan actually had that. I got the blind. Oh, there it is. GG, sorry for Lee. Alright, the game is finally over. This is the most ridiculous game I've seen in my life, but we managed to we managed to make it happen eventually. Thank you a lot for watching this video, boys and girls. One quick shout out to our friends over in Twitch chat who've sat through us and watched this and have also triggered lots of uh, resub alerts and whatnot. So thank you to say goodbye Twitch chat, say goodbye to YouTube. Thank you for watching, guys. Don't forget to subscribe to me on YouTube and of course follow me on Twitch because this was streamed live. Uh, yeah, thanks a lot for watching. Check me out on Twitter, Facebook, all that lovely business. One last goodbye from Twitch chat here. There they are. Say bye Twitch chat. There it is. They're saying goodbye. All right, thanks a lot for watching, boys and girls, and I'll see you.
in my next. <laughs> These guys are so cute. Video.